Hello there. Today we're going to discuss whether or not it's a good idea to put a vinyl floor in uh, your truck and remove the carpet. I'm going to talk about uh, some of the pros and cons and what my experiences were like and a couple of mistakes I made that you can hopefully avoid. So anyways, let's get at it. Well, it has just started pouring down rain and that just goes to show you why having one of these floors is so good. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, this is a 96 Dodge Ram 3500. In the last year, I've basically pulled this thing right down to a bare frame, uh, rebuilt the motor, um, all sorts of stuff. It's been a huge project, uh, but as you're about to see, the interior is still in absolutely terrible shape. Uh, we're just up above Kelowna right now in some of the mountains. It's still a beautiful view, but man, is it ever pouring down rain. All right, so this floor was cleaned very recently, as you can see by all this stuff. I've been out in this truck twice now, and this is what the floor looks like. I know that you can have floor mats and protect your carpet, but, you know, some of the dirt and crap always still gets on there. So for me, having something like this, I can just spray it down with a cleaner, give it a wipe, and bam, it's just looking like that again. All right, so this current situation is very common for me. Um, I'm often out on the gravel roads, you know, filthy boots, sand, mud, you know, snow, whatever. And uh, so for me, putting a vinyl floor in this truck was pretty much mandatory. And also, it's an old truck and the carpet was disgusting, so it was kind of a double whammy. Here's a look at the passenger side. Um, still a little bit dirty, but doing dramatically better. Um, overall, I would have to say my only complaint with this kit is that uh, trying to fit tight contours like this area, it can be a little bit bubbly, but you could probably uh, go at it with a heat gun. I'm not sure if it's recommended or not, but uh, I don't think that this is enough to really bother me. I would imagine over time it will probably settle in. So when you first get one of these kits, I believe this one is from a company called Automotive Interiors uh, down in the States. I'm up in Canada here. Um, the uh, the kit came folded up and the, the vinyl is actually really thick and um, I think you're supposed to leave it uh, unfolded for a day or two to just kind of let it relax a little bit. And I'm actually going to show you right now uh, the biggest mistake I made, which hopefully uh, I can help you avoid this. So this isn't a huge deal, but if you look closely on that corner, you can tell that I miscut it. Um, you have to cut out, you know, some trucks are manuals, some are two wheel drives, you know, you're going to have to cut around any stuff that you got on the uh, trans tunnel here. But uh, I unfortunately um, thought that the center was around there and it ended up being way back there. So that's the biggest thing I would say is just to really make sure and measure up in here and make sure that you've... Uh, you know, got its uh, layout figured out before you start cutting. So anyways, just be really careful. It's kind of a big uh, cantankerous um, thing that you got to wrestle around a little bit before you get the exact placement figured out. So uh, I would just be really careful and, um, you know, try and avoid any mistakes. That one is not too bad, but you can see how, you know, if that was a few inches over, it would be uh, pretty unsightly. Okay, so now in terms of pros and cons, um, you know, I might have a bit of a biased opinion just based on uh, how much dirty stuff I do with this truck, but I don't really see a lot of cons. I mean, the one thing about carpet is that it's going to uh, probably provide better sound deadening, um, but I actually went ahead and put sound deadening in when I had the carpet out, and uh, I actually went two layers of it. Uh, one is like the Dynamat stuff, but a knockoff brand, and then uh, the other one is like a closed cell foam. Um, so... For me, uh, I don't think there really is a downside. I'm out in the bush, filthy all the time in this truck, and uh, I don't really wanna have to tiptoe around carpet. I just wanna get in, you know, if I'm dirty, so be it. I can just go home, wipe her out, and away you go. So anyways, that's a quick look at this. If you wanna check out some other stuff on the channel, please do. There's all kinds of videos about this truck, and we'll uh, be lots of those coming up in the near future. Anyways, uh, please like, please subscribe, um, please ring the bell if you want to be notified of new videos. If you want to check me out on Instagram, I am the Stocky Bald Man, and on Facebook, the Stocky Bald Man as well. So anyways, hope you have a good day. See you on the next one.